We've been going for a few years now. We've been um, writing submissions right, left and centre to get as much as we can. Different government agencies have supported us over the years. It was about the lack of books for Indigenous children because um, there's a lot of young Indigenous kids who um, aren't very good at reading, but one of the reasons it seems to me why they aren't is because there aren't any books that have Indigenous characters, Indigenous um, heroes and stories and languages and so on. And so we decided to start um, finding writers who would write those books. People realise um, that that's something um, really good to be done. And a lot of writers and illustrators have come up with ideas of stories and sat down and written them and illustrated them. And enough for us to have uh, 68 books now. Mum was really excited. It was really a good experience. I liked it. Yeah. yeah, it was really good. It was fun. It was a good experience. Really just go for it, like, it's really fun. Just do what you got to do. And, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's this thing? Um, we usually start off with little storyboard or story strips, which I sometimes call our magic story strips. And um, just with a pencil or pen, kids um, create a story with um, usually pictures first, sometimes the words. and. Uh, that's the starting point. And from there, they maybe sit down at the computer and write it up or write it out fully in a bit of paper. And then they do a series of, um, of drawings. So it takes a while, depending on how much time and so on. Um, then you've got your story and you've got your um, artwork and then they have to be all put together and um, these, they come back here to our office and the layout design person, that in case it was, this case it was Sylvia um, Robertson, scans the pictures, puts the words into the book and lays it all out in a design program. And then you have to get all the other um, information together that makes up a book and eventually it goes to the printer. Oh, well, thank you to Gabby and Caitlin for their books and for all the others who've written books because as a publisher, well, you just can't exist without writers and illustrators. And it's really good. Besides which, they set such a good um, sort of example, role model to other people that you can do it. Because I think a lot of people are very mystified about writing and illustrating and they think that somehow there's some magic to it, but it's just doing it. And the other thing is sticking at it.